Good morning, class. Welcome to your daily interviews on paper. We will see what are the important articles for today. Navy throats hijacking our attempt in Arabian Sea. So, the Arabian Sea, the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden. These places, the issues, it goes to nice security breaches. Jero to na ano kung manum choose ano. So, in this regard, uh, what happened? No, chuda. This marine commandos evacuated all 21 crew members on board of this Lila Norfolk. Okay, carrier and So this is a carrier ship. Angulona e marine commandos 21 crew members ni on board Lomavani evacuate chase. Indian Navy successfully uh, got them evacuated. So Indian Navy's patrol aircraft issued a forceful warning to the pirates, destroy INS Chennai renders support. So we are rendering support for them. Okay. Malta flat vessel in Virior with an 18 member crew sent a mayday message indicating that the board boarding by six unknown persons around 700 nautical miles from the Indian coast. So, even when the pirates in the Rada, one who is the entry for your own JP issue chasing money. So, MV Chen Pluto with 21 Indian and one Vietnamese crew members reported this projectile attack around 217 nautical miles southwest of Korbandar. Initial investigation by the Navy indicated that there is a drone attack. So, drone attack could be in the NJP. We will talk about the Gabor flagged crude oil oil tanker uh, MV Sai Baba with an all India crew heading to India was hit by a one way attack drone in the Southern Red Sea. No injuries were reported. And apart from this, Yoka cargo ship Lila Norflock Edo after the rescues prepares to move to the next port of call. He rescued the river chase and the Mananavi chase. This is the article of Lila Norfolk, and a word important, which is your carrier and matter. Okay, so in a posture end of a hijacking attempt in the North Arabian Sea, Marine Commandos Marcos on the Indian Navy on Friday evening secured all and safely evacuated 21 crew members, including 15 Indians. 21 crew members, 15 members, Indian say. So, safe to evacuate chase in Okay, we'll go with the next article. India's GDP estimated to grow by 7.3 percentage. That's for data. So, statistical office, national statistical office, you data for karma. Mana GDP and the estimation growth in the 7.3 percentage. So, India's real GDP growth in 23-24 is estimated at 7.3 percentage compared to 7.2 percentage a year ago. As per the first advanced estimates of nation income released by National Statistical Office on Friday, which record the economy will outperform 7 percentage strip projected by RBA. So RBA 7 percentage increase out of the GDP. But according to the NSO data, they are mentioning that there would be a projectile growth of 7.3 percentage. Okay. With GDP growth in the half of this year clocking to 7.7 percentage, NSO advanced estimates rely on the data for the first six months, six to eight months of a year and are helpful in the union budget formulation. Indicate that the second half will grow about 6.9 to 7 percentage. So first half of the year low 7.7 percentage and second half of the year low 6.9 to 7 percentage at Kunapu. See clearly that on an average they are estimating there would be an uptick of 7.3 percentage growth. Where RBA predicted 7 percentage, initially 6.9 and then later on 7 percentage and good under. Next article. Ethikopaka. Ethikopaka toys sees resurgence, but who will shape the future? Resurgence and mali increase. So, more more of the or the no part, the resurgence So, toys are the resurgence and the Kanapadi. Why? Because in Monkey Bath section, our Prime Minister Modi mentioned about Ethikopaka. Okay, uh, make chase a person ke award kode We will see this. Vibrant blend of tradition and innovation awaits, but there are questions over carrying the legacy forward. So, in his money, Monkey Bath address on August 30, 2020, Prime Minister Narendra Modi made a mention about Ethikopaka toys on Anakapali district. So, Anakapali district, Ethikopaka toys gurinchi, Una Ethikopaka toys gurinchi, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Matladdam Jerikinanavat. So, here the term which is important entirely is Ethikopaka belongs to Anakapali district of Andhra Pradesh. 
okay calling for india to become a global hub for toy production with the slogan as vocal for local toys vocal for local toys he hailed the efforts of renowned domestic wooden toy makers cv raju so he cv raju ne give a button jarigi padmashri okay so for his efforts for reviving the historical art form last january mr raju received padmashri with the fourth highest civilian award in india which he termed as an honor for the epic of pakka toy craft mari dela chestaru this is a 400 years old uh, toy industry and it reminisces a uh, he reminisces about the early days when some craftsmen made small wooden bowls and boxes for household purposes so ela start aindi chinna chinna wooden bowls boxes tho inti kosam wooden uh, equipment tayar chestunna appudu start aina art form idi so this was it items found in utility in storing salt turmeric turmeric was another aromatic substances with women especially preferring them to keeping uh, kumkum and their precious jewelry so initially wooden creatures were sold at wooden creations were sold at stalls near temples or weekly santal santal jarugutay kada alanti santal lo jarigedi over time the local kings zamindars landlord began placing orders for this wooden products utilizing them in kitchens and decorative purposes in homes so turning point of this history came when the artisans ventured into crafting toys for children so initially the household tarapan tarapana vaadu padi appudu kings villandaru kuda bulk orders ichchevaru later on it has got it uh, reviving nature when they started utilizing this wooden uh, equipment or wooden thing to create toys for children okay so din dwara kumkum barani sri ram patta abhishekam bride and bride groom sri venkatesh swami ivanni kuda preferred gifts and what din nunchi chesedi so that is important and here also one term important bobbili veera bobbili veena so akadunna artist artisans ki seriga nyayam jaragatledu anna article which is not required for us but understand the bobbili veena is also one of the crafts okay right which is manufactured in bobbili okay fine ee bobbili anedi ekkada undante vijayanagaram lo undanti mana andhra pradesh lo that's all nothing more than that is required so we'll move to the next one police should get training on new criminal laws says shah so amisha ok annual 3 day annual conference ki with dgps so 3 day annual conference of dgp this is director general of india of police and inspector general of police in jaipur so he has inaugurated this 3 day summit and there he has mentioned that police should get training on this three new criminal laws so without getting trained how can they address the issues so entirely the old laws have been scrapped off and new laws have been introduced then they have to get understood or they have to get trained to understand how they have to act when there is breach of law kada so he emphasized uniformity of structures size skill of counter terror mechanisms across the country he mentioned that the new laws were focused on delivery of justice instead of punishment and the laws would transform the criminal justice system as the most modern and scientific so in each approach ante yok colonial back mindset lo unna criminal యాక్ట్స్ ఏవైతే ఉన్నాయి క్రిమినల్ సిస్టమ్ ఏదైతే ఉందో జస్టిస్ సిస్టమ్ని దాన్ని ఎలా రివై రివైజ్ చేశారంటే ఇట్ వి రిట్యూస్ టు బీ దట్ వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ పనిష్మెంట్ షుడ్ బి గివెన్ ఫర్ వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ బ్రీచ్ ఆఫ్ యాక్ట్ ఓకే ఇప్పుడు ఎలా ఉంది అని అంటే ఇట్ హ్యాస్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్డ్ ఇన్ టు మోడ్ మోడర్నైజ్డ్ అండ్ సర్వీస్ డెలివరీ ఆఫ్ జస్టిస్ okay so delivery of justice me ekko focus chesindi that is why uh, the police system have to get it trained and have to accommodate and accumulate themselves with this newly formed laws and chep kochan okay the date of implementation of the three legislation bharti nyaya sanhita bharti nagarik suraksha sanhita bharti suraksha is yet to be announced by home minister okay that is what they have mentioned so still home minister is yet to decide on this implementation a date ana cheppali right apart from this nothing is required so the next article he concerns not addressed new pg medical education regulation says doctors so kottaga ok act ochindandi which is your pg post graduate medical education regulations 2023 so indulo major issues konni address cheyaledu ani cheppochar doctors what are those working hours for resident doctors are not fixed so residential doctors untaru mari var working hours fix cheyakunna ante dan artham enti should they work for 24 hours long so that is a major flaw 
అండ్ ఇష్యూ ఆఫ్ మెంటల్ హెల్త్ నాట్ అడ్రస్డ్ సో డాక్టర్స్ యొక్క మెంటల్ హెల్త్ కూడా అర్థం చేసుకోవాలి దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో నాట్ బింగ్ అడ్రస్డ్ సజెషన్ బై డాక్టర్స్ విత్ డిసబిలిటీస్ ఇగ్నోర్డ్ సో డాక్టర్స్ లో కూడా డిఫరెంట్ లేబుల్డ్ పీపుల్ ఉంటారు మరి వాళ్ళ యొక్క సజెషన్స్ కూడా ఇగ్నోర్ చేయబడడం జరిగింది అండ్ గైడ్ లైన్ సైలెంట్ ఆన్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఏఐ ఇన్ కరికులం సో ఈ యొక్క ఏఐ యుటిలైజేషన్ కరికులంలో ఇన్వాల్వ్ చేయలేదు దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో మేజర్ ఫ్లో సో రీసెంట్లీ నోటిఫైడ్ పోస్ట్ గ్రాడ్యుయేట్ మెడికల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ రెగ్యులేషన్స్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ త్రీ హ్యావ్ డ్రాన్ క్రిటిసిజం ఫ్రమ్ ద డాక్టర్స్ హూ సే దట్ కీ కన్సర్న్స్ సచ్ యాజ్ వర్కింగ్ అవర్స్ మెంటల్ హెల్త్ బర్న్ అవుట్ ఇష్యూస్ among resident doctors and the regularity of stipends have not been addressed so doctors are unhappy with the guidelines are silent about integration of artificial intelligence in their curriculum so doctors ki kuda artificial intelligence telias also undi now understand that you have to implement you have to understand that just give me a moment so yes so understand that uh, this artificial intelligence integration into medical system is necessary why because without understanding the changes in technology where they can utilize this change technology in their curriculum ante vaalloka medical issues gurinchi suppose let's say diagnostics theesukondi oka particular person different symptoms tho mee degarku vacharu సో ఆ సిమ్టమ్స్ రిలేటెడ్ ఏవి వస్తున్నాయి అని చెప్పి వాళ్ళ యొక్క మైండ్ లో వాళ్ళకి తెలిసినవి చెప్పేది కంటే వాట్ ఎవర్ ఈస్ అవైలబుల్ ఆన్లైన్ దట్ కెన్ ఆల్సో బి యూస్డ్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఏ కెన్ బి యూస్ జస్ట్ అన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఏ ఒక ఇంటర్ఫేస్ గా యూస్ చేయొచ్చు కదా నెక్స్ట్ ద రెగ్యులేషన్స్ కవర్ అడ్మిషన్ కౌన్సిలింగ్ కోర్స్ వర్క్ ఫర్ ద పోస్ట్ గ్రాడ్యుయేషన్ పోస్ట్ గ్రాడ్యుయేట్ మెడికల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఇన్ ఇండియా దిస్ టైప్ దిస్ స్టిబుల్ ఎయిట్ that the in- students will be provided with a reasonable time for rest in a day and will be permitted with a minimum of 20 days casual leaves per year so we will clean check for students ki 20 days casual leaves uh, per year is there and none of the recommendations provided by the group called doctors with disabilities agents of change were taken into consideration so ye oka changes will cheppin solutions theesukoledu anna the criticism okay so just for you to understand oka act lo no oka kala lo no em em criticism anna theesukovali next this is important article and cabinet gives notes to prithvi program for earth observation so prithvi program ki cabinet okay ani cheppindi this is an integration program it will integrate different kinds of earth observatory uh, mechanisms into one so oka four different five different existing schemes ni combine chestundi we'll see this union cabinet on friday cleared how much 4797 crore nearly 5000 crores for the program called prithvi prithvi means earth that is expected to subsume five existing schemes under ministry of earth sciences which is in oes so these programs are uh, to improve and increase long term observations of the atmosphere ocean geosphere cryosphere and solid earth to track changes in the planet so first thing they going to observe different kinds of physiology on the earth okay next developing models of develop models to understand and predict weather ocean climate hazards and understand the signs of climatic change so understand this is entirely focusing on climate and weather patterns of the planet explore polar and high seas regions of the earth to discover new phenomena and resources so you got polar regions ivanni kuda artham chestunna so you understand totally that this earth will focus on entirety of earth prithvi ane program earth mottanni kuda focus chestundi let it be the climate or let it be the physiography okay develop technology for exploration and sustainable harnessing of oceanic resources for societal applications and translate knowledge and insights from earth system sciences into services for societal environmental and economic benefit so we done it integrate just so a major component of ministry is the deep ocean mission which is dom so major component here the kent ante deep ocean mission anamata manamu ocean lopala varaku oka level varike velladam deep sea exploration manam cheyale deep ocean exploration cheyaledu so for that again the pressure constraints temperature constraints technology constraints are there even uh, recently western countries have tried to uh, Uh, send one of the mission to uh, deep sea or deep ocean exploration which was an utter failure and people inside it were died were killed okay so here also the major component of ministry of ministry is the deep ocean mission which is dom 
one of those one of whose objectives is to send a manned submers, uh, submersible 6000 meters into the indian ocean so man ekkada varaku chustunnam 6000 meters varaki chustunnam to send manned submersible ante manushulnu pampisthunnam pradeep program broadly subsumes all the other major activities so important for your exam 4000 crore project four years low so next five years key research and development operational activities of the ministry also carried out by 10 institutes so they've given the institute's name which is not required just understand that they're going to have this particular program i am minister invites feedback on the draft rules for periodicals so information broadcasting industry has invited comments and sessions on the draft press and registration of periodical rules 2024 which have been proposed to be notified to implement the provisions of press and registration of periodicals act 2023 as notified in 29 last year so intently a draft rules on this press and regulation periodicals so press and regulation reason the news click issue in the so press regulation comes from INP ministry okay rules under the itching are the open for public petting okay it is open for sessions till February 4th so anyone who is interested can go into the portal and can give their own solutions. The law provides for a simple online mechanism to apply for the title verification and grant of certificate for the registration by the press register general to a periodical as a simultaneous process. There is no requirement for furnishing any declaration before the local authority or its authentication by the local authority. So any kind of declaration if we could also relay the devalu, but simple thing ain't the online mechanism chaser while press key while of channel cover to the wall of the media cover to then you can symbol registration could online mechanism chaser and certificate will be granted with a minimum basic chip. Okay, so they're going to give more freedom for press and other than choose good. Okay, a printer of a periodical is required to furnish an online information to the press register general and the local authority that substantially decriminalizes all violations under the statute except in a case where a periodical is established without obtaining certificate of registration and even after six months of its incidence of redirection of direction by the press register general to stop this periodical simple while in just an arante one of the distress is a project registration process is out just a month Next, ISRO tests fuel cell based power system in space. So, ISRO in test just the fuel cell based power system important and yes. So, ISRO has successfully tested 100 W class polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell based power system, which is FCPS, in its orbital platform POEM 3, which was launched on board by PSLV C58. So, POEM 3 on a orbital platform low on ISRO AM test shows to the 100W class polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell based power system. Okay, that is the test shows to the space low. Okay, the FCPS payload is significant as it has a potential applications in India space station which is proposed to come up by 2035. So, 2035 is live out in the during the short duration test. 180 watt power was generated from hydrogen and oxygen gases stored in the high power vessels. It will provide a wealth of data for the performance of various static and dynamic systems which formed part of power system and physics at play. So, clearly, in chest the marine, below if you will be the tech check chest the amount in the day. See now, 180 watt power can be generated from hydrogen oxygen gases stored in the high pressure vessels so once this is also again tested they'll get some low cost fuel mechanism to send our satellite launches easily into space okay so simple that fuel based system other than just going to test just on to poem 3 orbital platform to test just on that's all So, I think uh, uh, that's it for today. No explanatory article that is important for you. So, it's all about sports. So, yes, we'll meet again in the uh, next session on Monday. Thank you.